it's your boy Vaughn and I'm back with a video and uh, I'm basically about to let you guys know uh, about the news that I received yesterday and um, it's very it's, it was very difficult last night doing anything and uh, I just want to let you guys know that um, to everybody that's reached out to me so far today and everything like that, I appreciate you guys and I love you guys for, um, you know, sending your condolences and everything to my family. Uh, but I um, lost my little brother last night, uh, Leon Jr. to um, COVID-19. And it just, I don't know, it just hit, it hit me really hard. It caught me off guard. I knew that he had it. We talked last week and he was telling me that he had got tested twice and the first test that came back negative, but then the second test came back positive and um, he ended up like, our family ended up getting him a hotel to stay in because, uh, because so he could quarantine pretty much and he lives with my grandpa of my family. So, you know, we didn't want, you know, our grandpa to get sick or anything and uh um we were told that he uh he passed away and they found him they f they found him in the in the hotel room passed away and it just it hurts really bad because i just i don't know man I, i've been telling you guys that this stuff is like serious this whole time i've been preaching it i preached it to my family my friends that this stuff isn't a joke and sure enough man i just i just lost somebody close to me um my little brother like for those of you that have been watching this for years you guys know my little brother leon jr he um he used to be he used to live with me and emily mm -hmm. and he would be in some of the videos he did some of our intros back in the day and uh you know, he just turned 20, guys, like, literally, like, two weeks ago. August 2nd was his birthday, and he just turned 20, man. And, um, to find out this news is just very devastating to me and my family. I was, I finally got myself to the point where I'm able to, like, talk and be calm, dealing with my mom, because that's her baby. He's the youngest of the family. Um, dealing with my mom last night, it just hurt me so bad, and dealing with my... You know, my dad, you know, I'm the oldest out of all the siblings. So I was, you know, I'm always trying to make sure that everybody's good in the family. Um, I always reach out and make sure my dad's good, my mom's good, my, both of my brothers and my sister. And uh, and um, so that's what I was doing last night was calling everybody, making sure um, that they know that I love them and that we're all going to be here together for Leon Jr. And uh, and it was just very hard to deal with last night. I couldn't stop crying, man. I was crying all night. My eyes were swollen. And uh, just my head's been hurting. My eyes been hurting today. But I was crying this morning. I couldn't really get any sleep. But I finally got myself to the point where I can talk. And, um, and I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, regardless of everything that's going on with me and Emily, I thank her for being here and I love her. Um, I just, I appreciate you. I love you so much. Thank you. Because this, like, the fact, the fact, it just hurts me so much because it's like, he, he's the baby of the family, man. And, and no, like, nobody, nobody was there to help him. <laughs> nobody was there to be with him. And it just hurt. It hurts me a lot because <laughs> I love my family, guys. I always talk to y'all about cherish your family and your friends and stuff. I truly do care, like about people and my family and stuff, man. And it just, it just hurts that that nobody was there <laughs> to be with him because I I was talking to him, trying to make sure he was good, and I'm not there. I'm in Texas. He lives in Indiana, so. It's just like, it just hurts, guys. And now he's gone, and it just, I don't know. 
I don't, I don't know what to do at this point, guys. I just, we're going back to Indiana to be with our family, and we're just going to try to get through this because this, this, this won't really hurt right here. This is like a piece of my heart, man. Like, it's my little brother, man, and uh, and I love him to death, and it just hurts that this had to happen, and. It, I want to be mad and do all these things, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to try to be strong because my dad told me to be strong. I got to be strong for my other brother and my sister because I'm the oldest. And I'm just going to continue um, to work hard for you guys, for my family, and, uh, you know, continue to achieve goals and I don't know guys. I don't know. I just wanna be I just wanna be successful and I just wanna I just wanna be able to be there for my family as much as possible. It's all I care about, honestly. And be there for Emily. Um her and her mom have been through it. They've been there for me since the beginning, man, and you know we're just we're gonna miss my little brother, man. I I wish she was here. And I wish I got to tell him, I wish I got to tell him that I love him. <laughs> I, I mean, I tell him I love him all the time, but like, cause I, I always text him and make sure he's good. We talk on Instagram a lot or text. It doesn't matter. We talk on everything and I always make sure he's good, man. And let him know I love him. That's the most important thing. And he, he's just so young, man. Like he just turned 20 and for this to happen to him, like I wish it was me over him. I don't, I feel terrible right now, man. Because it just, it just hurts. It's almost like, I don't know, there's nothing, my dad telling me there's nothing we could do about it. There's nothing that we could have done about it. It's a virus and, and all of these things, man, but this is what I feared when this stuff came. This is why I took it so seriously, and this is why I feared this, because I just, I don't know, guys. I just, I was scared. I'm still scared to the now, but I'm gonna be strong. Um, and I'm just devastated it had to end this way. And for him to be the youngest one in the family, man, and. It just hurts. It hurts really bad. And I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't listen to my mom hurt the way that she was hurting. And at first I couldn't even talk to my dad cause I was hurt so bad. But my dad told me to get it together and that we're going to get through this. And, um, this is my job, man, to let you guys know about my life and what's going on in it. And I'm gonna continue to do that no matter what, cause I feel like you guys are a part of my family and I love you guys, man. And it's just gonna, it's gonna take me a long time to, to, to heal somewhat from this, if I even heal from this, because that was my baby brother and he, he was so, he was just everything, man. He was smart. He knew everything like he was building computers from scratch. He, he's just really smart kid man and a really loving kid a caring kid and he never did anything to nobody He's never done anything wrong in life and he has even he never even really got to experience life and it's just It just hurts man So I don't know I mean I'm gonna still trying to keep up low for you guys. Um, we're gonna talk things out, figure things out on what we're gonna do next, but just know um, my heart is really heavy right now, my family. And uh, if you guys don't see me upload, um, you guys know why. It's, it's my little brother, man. Um, he's the most important thing right now. So uh, I love you guys. Is there anything you want to say? Um, it's hard to see um, Vaughn go through all of this 
and you know regardless of our issues and our regardless of if we were together or not i i would always be here for him especially now more than ever i would never ever leave Vaughn in a position to go through something so traumatic as this I would never let him go through it by himself so I'm here and I mean I'm not going anywhere and I just want to be as bit of a support system to him and his family as, as possible and I love Leon too he, you know we've been together we've been together four years so it's not like Leon's my family too and so it hurts but I just am gonna be as strong as I can be for Vaughn and his family and um, do whatever I can to to help take their pain away which I know is I can't I can't do that but I'm just gonna be here and support them and do whatever I can. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> guys, we're gonna um we're gonna end the video, man, and just I just wanted to let you guys know just in case you don't see anything from us. Um I gotta figure out I don't know. We're going we're going back home to Indiana though, so um, keep your family close, close guys. Love them, cherish them. Tell them you love them every day, man. And life is short, and just um, keep uh, my family in your prayers, please. I love you guys, and uh, I'll catch y'all later, man.